Hi, I'm Ken Lebo with InsureTech Express. And today I'm very excited um, because I've got some new devices and um, I'm gonna break it down into two videos because I don't want the videos to be too long. And it's all because iOS 16 came out in September, but just on December uh, 14th, we got a brand new release of iPad OS 16.2, which gave extended monitor support. And so this first video will be about the curved Z Edge monitor that I bought. And um, I'll explain to you the, uh, the features, the price, and how the extended monitor works along with Stage Manager that's was 16. The monitor that I bought is a Z Edge curved 27 inch monitor. Um, it looks like it's on Amazon for $179. I bought it on Black Monday, and so I got it for like $158 or something. But what's great about it is it's that it's not too big. Um, I, I think that for doing work, uh, again, for I'm not a gamer or anything, for doing work or even watching some movies or videos and everything, 27 inch at it on a desk, I think it's perfect size. It's curved, that curved experience really kind of brought, brings you in and it's great for working and doing emails, etc. It is 75 Hertz, but that doesn't even matter because on the refresh rate, because the, uh, the Apple devices like an iPad will only um, support 60 Hertz anyway. So, um, but, so you don't need to spend money for 144 Hertz and things like that. Again, if you're using it for for for, uh, for business uh, use, you know, for production, not for um, gaming. Okay, so, um, but and it's got the blue light protection, which I don't need that either because my glasses have blue light protection. Um, again, which is better for your eyes, etc. But it's perfect. I have an HDMI connection. It has speakers built in, but the speakers aren't very good. But if you just need to listen to something very fast, you can do that. Um, and uh, and again, I love the stand, the footprint, uh, the size, it's very light, and it works perfect for my desktop. So here's uh, Ted Lasso playing on full screen here, so uh, on Apple TV, so you can see how good the uh, video is, which works great on the screen if you wanted to watch uh, any type of video, movie, YouTube video, etc. So if you want to open up a new app that's, uh, since you're using the extended monitor feature, the best way is just to use Siri. Open LinkedIn. So here's Easy. how you can move an app from one screen to the other. So if I open up LinkedIn here and I click on the three dots, there's an option that says move to display. And you can see I moved it to display. Now, if I want to control things on since uh, on my display, you see my pointer here. If I just go up to the top of the screen, I'm now on my display. And I can use the stage manager with open apps that are open. Um, or if I want to just minimize or close this, I can also uh, use the... Uh, the dock here, Siri, or this. And if I wanna go back to my iPad, I would just move the pointer down. And now you can see the pointer, oops, right here on my iPad. Let's go over some settings. So first of all, on the control uh, panel, you can add stage manager and when you do that you'll see this button with three dots and a monitor and just by clicking it turn stage manager on and off and the first uh item we want to go to under settings is under home screen and multitasking and you'll see stage manager listed here at the bottom and when you click on it you'll see there are options to uh, turn on recent apps to show up on the side and to turn the dock on and off and this allows you to move windows and to size them different ways and have multiple windows open. That's what Stage Manager, uh, one of the main things it does for you. But you can see on the external monitor display, you can do the same thing. You can do recent apps 
and you can also uh, turn on for the dock so dock on and off so the, both those things you can control for both the iPad and the extended monitor next if you go into display you'll see here that we have the built-in retina display for the iPad and then we actually have the um, the uh, external monitor and with that there are a couple options here that you can turn on um, but what's really important is the arrangement so there are some people that actually have two or three monitor external monitors so you can control um, the arrangements of which screen shows which uh, and you can rearrange them by just dragging here okay so it can support up to three monitors plus the iPad and then there's a feature to turn on mirror display. If you turn on mirror display, then the extended monitor acts as it did before, um, where it doesn't fill up the full screen and just mirrors what's on your iPad. But if you wanna really take advantage of the extended monitor um, support features, you would leave the mirror display off and that way you turn on the apps that you want, you've got the full screen, so you can read one document on your iPad screen and another document uh, for example on your external monitor and you can move apps back and forth like we had demonstrated the last item that I want to mention that under display which you don't see right now is a zoom feature um, so if you actually um, disconnect the uh, the extended monitor support uh, cable um, then I'm using HDMI then there's a zoom option where you can save space so if I actually disconnect this here and I now can see Zoom. And with Zoom, you see that there's saved more space. So that doesn't work with the external monitor support, but if you're just using your iPad and Stage Manager, you can uh, make uh, the icon smaller and the text smaller so you can fit more on one screen. Well, thank you uh, for uh, taking the time to learn a little bit more about um, iPhone iOS and iPad OS 16.2 with the extended monitor support and about how great it is if you're um, going to go out and buy a monitor to stay within a budget and if you're going to be using your iPad to connect to a curved monitor. Um, this is uh, video one of two. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, here's my uh, contact information, email, and uh, phone number.